Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, Winbridge has sent me another one of these PA amps. I'm getting quite the collection going. This is the original S309 voice amplifier, they call it. So, another new style. A little bit different features on this one. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to uh, see how this one goes. Now, it boasts to have 8 watts of power output. It is definitely rechargeable, like all the others. Type-C connections, um, as well as a mute button, and of course auxiliary for hooking in your own uh, MP3 player, or you know, like an iPad, iPod, you know, that sort of jazz, right? Yeah, okay. Um, and of course USB, uh, regular USB Type A uh, for your music files. So we do get our manual in this thing, and uh, let's take a little quick, quick peek at it. And we got our basics here, tells us what our buttons do. Now there's no Bluetooth in this thing by the way, so like I said, very different. It's more basic uh, geared than the others. So you, really anybody can operate this thing way too easily. Um, anyways, um, how to play music via the USB stick. Now you have to have MP3 files, okay, you can't play uh, other stuff, it has to be an MP3. Um, and you have to be formatted for some form of uh, Windows like um, XFAT or um, FAT32 kind of thing or FAT16, um, NTSF. So you have to have the proper format routine. It tells you exactly what you have to do in here. So this way you absolutely know. Okay, so now here's our amplifier. This actually just came in. Um, so she's still a little chilly, but we're going to fire it up anyways because a little cold weather doesn't hurt these things. And we have a strap. Now I'm, I'm liking the fact that they've gone to a more quality type strap uh, with their connectors. These things work really well, okay? And of course we do have our USB A to C charge cable, our auxiliary cable, and of course our headset. We have that, and our charging brick, okay? Now you're you're gonna get like tons of runtime out of this thing. Um, they do give you, I believe, an average in the book uh, of the playtime if you're playing music. Now, of course, you know the louder you turn the volume, uh, the more of the amp you use, the less of the playback time. Uh, but you're still gonna get several hours of playback time without any issues there. I'm just looking to see if they actually uh, list it on here as far as the actual playtime goes. So the indicator status will be red while charging and will go green when it's fully charged. Um, three to four hours to fully charge the battery from basically dead. Um, it doesn't actually give a time frame for the runtime in the manual here. But I can assure you it is several hours. Uh, like I said, I, I've had a lot of their amps, as you guys know. You can type in Winbridge on my channel search, and you're going to find a number of these things. Um, and they do run for several hours, so that's not an issue. I'm just looking to see if they actually specifically put it in here someplace. So, but I am not seeing that. Anyways, okay. So, we'll... Uh, Test out our headset first and uh, see what see what this thing sounds like. These things are great for um, like if you just need a little bit of extra amplification. Um, like one of the things I had a problem with for years was when I was playing guitar and singing at the same time, people had a hard time hearing me, mind you, shy, right? And uh, let me actually zoom this out a bit. And um, anyway, so shyness can definitely lower your volumes. But um, these things would help with that, um, you know, because then you could sing into it and sing and play along, adjust your volume accordingly, and voila. Um, now, as for other uses, you know, teachers, 
uh, people giving uh, kind of like a seminar that needs some extra amplification. Let's say you're in an area giving some sort of a thing and there is no PA system there. Well, this thing is definitely going to help you get out there. Uh, so let's uh, see how we're going to get this thing going for us here. Now it is kind of a one size fits all on the headband thing and uh, make sure that you find the flat of the mic element and have that pointing toward your mouth. So you can just twist it in place and uh, away you go. Uh, let me actually change the, uh, the height here a little bit. There we go. Much better. Okay, so let's turn it on. Now I'm going to try pointing the amp away from me a little bit. Testing one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, we got some stuff coming out here. So um, our volume control, you'll see a plus sign here and a minus sign for your volume. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Okay, there's full blast. So you push and hold and uh one, two, one, two, three. Now, the, la the closer the mic is, of course, the louder this is going to get. So, uh, this is like max volume. Hello! And uh, you can hear we're, we're getting a bit of a whistle sound, borderlining feedback here. So, we can turn it down. One, two, one, two, one, two. So, that cleans it right up really good. Um, yeah, so, as far as this goes, uh, pointing it towards me. One, two, one, two. Sound is pretty good. Um, there's not very much low end in this, of course, um, because of the size of the speaker, obviously. Um, but there is definitely some good mid-range there and good treble, just very little on the bassy side, um, which is fine. I mean, the idea is you want to get out there and to break through a mix, you actually need more mids and trebles for that um, if you're doing music. But uh, even just in general talking, um, this can help, and everybody's voice is going to be different on how it's going to sound through the thing, but one, two, one, two, and one, two. Um, when you hold it down and it goes to full blast, you'll notice that it has a bit of a cut down, and it'll keep beeping sound until you let go. Um, so, you know, it, I guess it's to prevent an um, overage of some sort. Um, but anyways, uh, these things, some of them work a little bit different. Others will just, like, keep on, you know, this one will actually cut it down until you let go, you know, type of thing. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, um, we do have a USB stick here. We're also going to install with some music on it. Um, and this is something I've done of my own music. This way YouTube stays away from me on this. So we just plug it in. Oh yeah! Now if this was something I could sing to, then I could sing along at the same time. You can do the same thing with your favorite tunes, right? Put them in here, sing along at the same time. It'd be like really cool, it's like your own little portable karaoke, right? I had a lot of fun doing this piece up. Now, if you have more than one file, this is uh, a song I did called I Want a Green Christmas. It's a pretty spooky thing. You gotta watch the video, guys. So those are my own two MP3s on there. Okay, so if I hit the mode button, I can just bypass it, keep the stick in there, and voila, I'm just doing the PA thing here. I can push it again. Now I can unhook this and just listen to the music, or I can sing along with it. So a, a quick touch on the mode button. Okay, so um, yeah, um, let's just turn this off. One, two, yeah. Okay, now it sounds pretty good and it is pretty loud, okay? It does have volume. Um, like I said, you gotta get the mic closer to you to get more volume, but you don't wanna be eating the mic on this thing because then everybody's gonna hear every plosion that comes out of your mouth. 
Um, it does have the windscreen to help prevent a lot of that, but hey, if you have it too close, it's the way it's going to go. So you got to find your comfort zone on that. Um, one of the things I have noticed uh, in the last couple of models is I think these headbands need to be made uh, a little bit more better adjustable. You know, I mean, I don't have a massive head. Um, I mean, it'll fit me, you know, but I mean, first you got to take off your glasses if you have that. Get it back there, kind of put it in place. Um, and it kind of sits like almost right into your temples, you know, which is, you know, it's just behind them, which is fine. It won't bug your head. Um, but uh, a little bit more, maybe um, less band. So you could stretch it out further for a bigger head and have it just compress in a bit more for a smaller person's head. Because let's face it, even adults, men or women, we all have different size heads, you know? Some of us just have so much knowledge in our heads, they just keep going, Brrr, you know what I mean? I'm just kidding. Um, but no, seriously, we all have different size heads. So we need something a little bit more on the friendlier side for the headbands, maybe make them a little bit um, smaller or have them even tighter in. But even, you could, you could chop out like about an inch of this material, bring it in, and still fit the majority of heads out there without a problem. Um, so that's something I would like to see changed on, on the last few models. Um, but otherwise, the mics are fine. They work fantastic. The pads are nice and comfy on your head. So that's, that's a good thing, right? We need that. Uh, like I said, the, the quality uh, of the, um, the straps has gone up quite a bit from the first few machines that I did for them. They actually had a really lousy... Um, well, I find they were not the greatest quality of material for the straps. And of course, even these things here were very poor. Uh, these are really good now in the last several models. So very good upgrade wind bridge. Um, now, as far as what I would say, this is a, definitely a very basic model. Like I said, anybody could run this thing. I mean, it's a plug and go system, push one button, you know, to go between your music only or music and PA or just PA. Um, it's kind of your thing how you want to do that. Um, but it is that simplistic. And it's a, it's a no-brainer for the charging system. Um, you know, it's, it's red when you're charging, green when it's fully charged, and away you go. Also has a belt clip as well. You know, pretty sturdy belt clips on these things, even though they're plastic. They're pretty darn strong. So they're going to last you for quite a long time. Um, I wouldn't be too afraid of dropping the unit. Um, well, maybe not on asphalt, but, you know, uh, hard floors, probably not a good idea. But anywhere, whether it's a carpeted floor or maybe on the lawn, um, even a thin carpeted floor like, you know, in the church, right? Most churches, the carpet is like so thin, it's ridiculous, right? Um, and you could drop that on this and probably not do any damage. So it's probably going to have a lot of good impact capabilities in that sense to a certain point like anything else in this world and it is made out of plastic okay so but it is a pretty heavy plastic um anyway overall i think as far as volume level goes um it is fairly loud okay but all these units that they carry are going to be different too i mean some have much larger speakers some have smaller ones some have more wattage output some have obviously less some have more features like the bluetooth edition and so on uh others like this it's way too basic, you know. I mean, the volume thing is just push and hold till you're at the level you want, let go, push and hold to lower it. Uh, same deal when you're playing MP3s, just a click and a click or a click and a click uh, to go back and forth. So, fast forward rewind kind of deal. Uh, your mode button is a fast click system, and of course, your power button you got to push and hold, and you'll hear it go do 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 do, and the light will actually be green when it's powered up too. So at least you know that it's powered up. And do 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 it just shut it off. So very nice unit. Um, so I'd like to take a minute to thank Winbridge once again for, for sending me one of their units to test out. Um, you guys all want your star ratings and I have to put things in the categories to which they belong according to what I think about them. Um, I would have no problem putting this easily out of four out of five. Okay, um, I think that that is more than fair. I would even consider pushing it to four and a quarter out of five. Um, like I said, the only thing I have a real thing about is the headband has to be shrunken in a bit more. I mean, I don't have a big head and I do find that a little bit on the, on the little sloppier side. Um, people with very small heads in comparison to mine, which I said, I don't have a huge head, okay, um, may have an issue, right? And so we need to, 
to, to bring that in a little bit closer. You know what I mean? A little bit more tension so they can fit different sized heads much better. Um, I have no qualms with the, with this. The, this unit is working absolutely perfect. Um, you know, if you do have a problem with anything you buy off them, there's no problem getting them to help you solve that issue. Great company to deal with. No problems there. Um, charging system is nice. They went to Type-C. And this is also a pretty handy cable too because, you know, it's not relegated to just being used to charge this unit. If you have something else that's Type-C but all you have available is a Type-A port, you could use this to charge that device. So the cable will go universal um, as far as charging Type-C stuff, right? No big deal there. Uh, so the cable is not just stuck for this. Um, You've got our auxiliary cable as well that comes with the unit. I mean, it's not top of the line quality, but it's pretty good quality, okay? And it should last you for quite a while. And if the thing ever does mess up on you, go to the dollar store for a buck and a quarter, you can buy a new cable. I mean, they're probably a little cheaper build than this, but hey, you know, um, this one should last you for a long, long time though, either way. I mean, you take care of your stuff, it takes care of you. That's my rule. Um, but anyways, overall though, I think it's great. Um, as far as the power supply goes, I know someone's gonna wanna know, well, you know, we're not stuck with that cable, right? So we could use that cable. What about the power supply? How much power does it actually put out? And to answer that question, I need to get my magnifying glass. So we are sitting at one amp, five volts, one amp. So any USB device that is not gonna require more than one amp, uh, for charging, then you could use this brick with that cable and charge a USB device. Too simple, right? So that works. Um, anyways, um, manual wise, I mean, this is where the nitpickies come in for, for the star rating, right? Um, they don't give us actual how long will we be able to play music for, uh, even on an average. Um, all you can do is take my word for it, it's several hours. I mean, I've even still got that big karaoke thing and I use, I just use it as an MP3 player. And uh, I've worked all day in the shop working on trailers. The thing lasted me all day long without any issues. Um, mind you, a lot bigger batteries, but still, either way, uh, you're still going to get a lot of hours out of this thing. And you don't have to worry about the whole Bluetooth connectivity stuff, right? Because you know different versions of Bluetooth, right? You just plug your device your USB stick right in, load up a USB stick with about five or 10,000 songs and away you go, you know? Um, you don't even have to have an MP3 player with you if you don't want to. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, like I said, they don't actually list the actual run time. They do give us an idea on charge time, which is good, uh, about approximately how long that should take, three to four hours. Um, I'm just trying to read a little bit further here and see maybe, maybe I missed something. No, oh, apparently not, it's, it's all there. Um, you know, also don't keep it in direct sunlight. It is black and black absorbs heat like a mother So you really don't want to keep it out in direct sunlight um, Because that will definitely uh, Overheat even the battery inside. Okay, so it's like anything else a little common sense goes a long way Do you leave your phone in direct sunlight? Of course not because what happens if you do? Thermo overload warning on a screen and then you got to pack it away somewhere until it cools off I've been there a few times with the phone in my car you know, it's like, oh, let's put it on the dashboard. Oh, nice hot sunny day, 45 degrees outside kind of thing. And poof, there you go. Thermal overload alert. Sorry, you're not making a phone call for two hours. So, overall, I think it's a great little machine. Okay? Um, so, do check out Winbridge products. I mean, they do carry their products. Um, you know, go to the Winbridge website. You can check them out there. You can check them out on Amazon. Um, and... Definitely take a look at this if this is something you want. It is definitely severely basic. I mean, this thing, honestly, guys, would be great for kids. Uh, you know, what's to go wrong? It's simple, it's basic. A two-year-old could probably run this without an issue. You know, you plug in your USB stick, they play music. Now, you can get short sticks, like really short ones that are like almost flush mount uh, USB drives, like the little go sticks. And that makes it more compact. You know, having something like this stick out, yeah, might not be such the world best thing if it fell over and got smacked really hard. So I probably want to go for the, you know, the very narrow backed ones. Uh, but if you are the careful type, then just use a standard size one like this and there you go. It could be easier. 
Anyhow, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, by the way. And if you did, give us a big like. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Smash that bell for notifications. And we'll definitely be sure to catch you on the next video. Because we got a lot of them coming. See ya.